Okay, hello. Uh, time for another update. Um, I have uh, mostly been working on Overmind because it was released on Wednesday. Uh, well, announced. It's not like we're not saying it's production ready, and that's just because we want some more success stories uh, to ensure that we actually have a few production apps running before saying it actually can be used in production. Uh, it also controls expectations. So uh, if people find bugs and stuff, they don't, they understand that it's like not 100% yet. Um, and doesn't get like, uh, loses trust in the project because of that. But, um, yes, I was at my current employer with some awesome colleagues and we were talking about CSS and stuff. And I'm actually going to make a video on that later. Um, ate some pizza listened to some music, played some Super Smash, and also did the announcement. So I was super surprised uh, by all the attention. I've always been hoping for like, just, ah, oh, just let me, just give me a chance to tell about my experiences and what we have been working on. And I definitely got that now. So super happy about that. Uh, it might have been the emojis. Uh, I've been thinking a lot more about the marketing um, and you have to have emojis or people <laughs> even look at your tweet. It's, <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but you, uh, what is it? Don't hate the player, hate the game or something. Um, but anyway, so, and also I took like a bit of, of a provocative um, um, approach. So that I'm kind of like pointing at the pain points with existing solutions. And that doesn't mean Overmind is perfect. Overmind definitely has its pain points as well. Um, but like this is what iteration is about. It's about taking current pain points, making them better, introduce maybe some new pain points. But at the end of the day, we are making better solutions. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm pointing to Redux and Vuex because they have so much unnecessary orchestration with dispatching, cr creating action types, and, uh, you're splitting your logic with a reducer or like mutations in Vuex. Um, and I actually got a comment on, on Vuex that they're actually considering removing that part, uh, because I think Vue were trying to grab developers from React. And to do that, they had to grab developers from Redux. So they created like an artificially <laughs> complex API uh, to resemble Redux. But Vue doesn't need that because Vue is very different. Um, but anyways, and then I'm pointing to TypeScript because TypeScript can really be a pain with tools that's, that isn't built with TypeScript and doesn't have really good typing. And then I also pointed this was kind of a cheap point because in Mobix you you can indeed use async functions and do mutations, but you can't do it like safely. Um, you have to turn off strict mode so you can basically do mutations wherever. But this is not a problem. Like I hate how, well I don't hate it, but I'm surprised how some thought leaders can bring concepts into the community community and make it a big deal. Like, if you don't want to change your state anywhere else than in actions, just don't do it. It's simple as that. Um, because it, it gives, like, Mobix limitations and stuff, uh, which I think is far worse, because it affects how you structure your code. Anyways, uh, and then I'm also pointing to DevTools, because that's something I'm really proud of with Cerebral. It's an amazing dev tool like you get so much insight but it never got any got that much attention but we brought all that functionality into this dev tool and i hope it will be beneficial but anyways so like now it's almost like i don't know what's normal but I, like over 100 retweets and almost 500 likes i think that's good um, and I, like, I pointed to people I gotten to know who has a ton of followers to help me out just to get the attention. Um, and it's like, I don't know what the impressions means. Oh yeah. 
it means like we have reached 40,000 people with this tweet. Mm. And I think in marketing, there's like a really low percentage on impressions and uh, engaging. So I don't know if these numbers are good, but I'm super happy about it anyways. Uh, okay, cool. So that's a little bit about the, um, the release. I'm just iterating now, getting feedback, fixing some bugs, have some plans for some new features on the dev tool. Um, yeah. And then I had some new features on my boys project, uh, got some feedback from a colleague at work. Um, one thing is, which I might do a little bit later if we have time, uh, is how this menu works, which is, <laughs> it doesn't look uh, much, but it's kind of interesting. Um, so what I have done here is add the, well, first of all, I made sure that um, you cannot like edit content of other users. Uh, because then you might be confused that you're logged in on your own account and stuff. So it's read only when you when you're looking at someone else's um, uh, boilerplate. Uh, and then I added deletion of files and uh, boilerplates, which is nice. So now it's a now it's a cred application. That's good. I'm still missing the forking. It's like it 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 takes like thirty minutes to implement. I don't know why I don't prioritize it but other stuff going on. So maybe I'm just uh, procrastinating a bit and postponing it. But anyways, um, yeah, I wonder if anyone's using it. Oh, Firebase. I can see how many users are here. Hopefully I'm not sharing any, let's see, profiles. No. Not that many, but I haven't really done anything to promote it either. Um, but exciting news is that I've decided to spend at least one day a week uh, with Code Sandbox from next week, because then I'm 60% freelance. And that means we are uh, going to uh, refactor Code Sandbox, because we have prepared, like I, I did a PR a while back uh, for for preparing TypeScript support. Um, and now we're actually going to do that. And we're also going to refactor to Overmine. And we might also change out style components, which is kind of the video I'm going to make now is about. Um, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. And the way we're going to do it is to start with the patron page and see how we can gradually move to overmind. Uh, I did something like when we moved from Redux to Cerebral, like the whole thing was refactored. Um, it was a kind of a cool approach, um, but we had to refactor the whole thing. Uh, we can't do that now because it has become so complex. Um, so we need to figure out a way for two different state management solutions to, to live together. Uh, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. Um, by the way, if you, if you, if you're interested, I have like a, let's say, a React Finland. I have like a video on, yeah, this one. This is from React Finland. I talked about how we refactored Code Sandbox from Redux to Cerebral. Um, anyways, really looking forward to that. And I'll keep you posted on the progress there as well, because it's a really interesting thing, because uh, stuff is happening to Code Sandbox now in February. Uh, there are a few developers on the team there. It will be interesting to see how we communicate and work together. Um, but yeah, uh, Ives and me have known each other for some time now, so we like we have figured out how to do this communication and we have the trust. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, okay, I don't want to go into this CSS trick with the menu thingy. Uh, maybe I can make a video or something on it. Uh, but um, yeah, thanks for for contributing again. I got, I think I got one more contribution <laughs> last week. That's super nice. It's it's like it's um, 
it's it's just really nice. Like it's more fun to get like a cup of coffee than uh, um, than like having like an open collective where the money goes to the project and stuff. It's it's just uh, more personal, I think. So thanks for that, um, and I'll talk to you next week.